Russian President Vladimir Putin handed a state award on Wednesday to Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko as he welcomed his closest ally in Moscow. I sincerely value our good personal relations that we have developed over these many years of working together, said Putin while Lukashenko stressed that even, faced with a choice many times, Belarus never turned away from Russia. Belarusian authorities had just said they launched new criminal investigations against dozens of opposition activists the day before, part of a sweeping crackdown on dissent ahead of next year's presidential vote, in which Lukashenko intends to seek a seventh term. He has already been in power for more than 30 years. After Lukashenko's previous balloting in 2020 which was seen at home and abroad as rigged, he unleashed brutal repressions, in which more than 65,000 people were detained. About 1,300 are currently held behind bars as political prisoners, according to the Vyasna Human Rights Group. Мы с вами поддерживаем постоянный диалог, регулярно встречаемся, созваниваемся, обсуждаем насущные двусторонние проблемы и важные региональные и международные вопросы. Искренне дорожу нашими добрыми личными отношениями, которые сложились у нас с вами за эти многие годы совместной работы. Уверен, что общими усилиями мы продолжим развивать российско-белорусское сотрудничество. За выдающиеся заслуги в развитии отношений, союзничества и стратегического партнерства между Российской Федерацией и Республикой Беларусь, укрепление дружественных связей между российским и белорусским народами, а также за большой личный вклад в создание и эффективную деятельность союзного государства орденом святого апостола Андрея Первозванного награжден Лукашенко Александр Григорьевич, президент Республики Беларусь, Председатель Высшего Государственного Совета Союзного Государства. Нас много раз ставили перед выбором, но мы никогда, подчеркиваю, никогда не отворачивались от России. Вы и ваши коллеги это хорошо знают. Беларусь – надежный союзник. Я хочу, чтобы в России это знали прежде всего. Белорусы никогда россиян не подводили. Примите мои заверения и впредь никогда не подведут. The United States will face dangerous consequences if it presses on with growing military aid to Ukraine rather than backing a proposed Russian settlement that would see Moscow take over swathes of territory. The man serving as Russian President Vladimir Putin's top diplomat for 20 years said in exclusive responses to Newsweek questions. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov said the Kremlin offers a viable blueprint to end the bloodshed and revamp the security architecture of the continent. He accused the US-led NATO military alliance of first sowing the seeds of war a decade ago and continuing to fan the flames. Russia is open to a politico-diplomatic settlement that should remove the root causes of the crisis, he said. It should aim to end the conflict rather than achieve a ceasefire. At present, as far as we can see, restoring peace is not part of our adversary's plan. Zelensky has not revoked his decree banning negotiations with Moscow, Lavrov said. Washington and its NATO allies provide political, military and financial support to Kyiv so that the war would go on. They are discussing authorizing the AFU Armed Forces of Ukraine to use Western long-range missiles to strike deep into Russian territory. Playing with fire in this way may lead to dangerous consequences. What we have in mind is that the world order needs to be adjusted to the current realities, he said. Today the world is living through the multipolar moment. Shifting towards the multipolar world order is a natural part of power rebalancing which reflects objective changes in the world economy, finance and geopolitics. 
The West waited longer than the others, yet it has also started to realize that this process is irreversible. Lavrov's remarks come as the Russian military advances on several key Ukrainian fronts, despite simultaneously battling a Ukrainian counter-strike within Russia itself. Despite this warning from Moscow, commander of the United States European Command, General Christopher Cavoli, has compiled a list of weapons that could assist Ukraine in its defense against Russia. This list includes long-range missiles, among other items, according to CNN. According to the agency's sources, the list was presented to Congress at the beginning of last month and is part of a classified report on the Biden administration's strategy regarding Ukraine. CNN reports that the list includes JASM, long-range missiles for F-16s which can hit targets within a range of up to 370 kilometers. Cavoli also included the Link-16 communication system in the list, a data exchange network used by the US and NATO. This system is intended to ensure uninterrupted communication between combat systems and is particularly useful for command and control in air and missile defense. The source noted that Ukraine has repeatedly requested the transfer of both JASM missiles and Link-16 systems.